Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Weevil. Uh, this is the first video for the channel, so welcome. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at Starfield. I know it's a little bit late, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and hop right in. I'll give you a little bit of commentary as we go along. We'll check it out. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to make a few comments about other streams I've seen where they um, they claim that Starfield, because it's primarily an RPG, it's unfair to compare the game to uh, to other games which are space sims, but I think you could make a fair comparison between the two. But uh, we'll get into that more at the end. Here we go. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time, and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Yeah, I think we waited Starfield. three years. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in and, the game. You know, you I, I think I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I think everybody has who's into space games and uh, sci-fi RPGs. I will say the level of detail on the planets is pretty impressive. I would say it's in line with something like Star Citizen. I'm wondering if this is part of the cutscenes, uh, because they did say you're not going to be able to fly down to the surface uh, manually, so it's a pretty long cutscene if that's the case. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. So this this shot right here, I, I can see the comparison to No Man's Sky. I mean, you really can't deny the similarities there. This does look really good, though. I'm totally fine with it. I just hope it it's not as um, grindy in terms of resources as uh, No Man's Sky. Once again, very No Man's Sky, but I would argue that a lot of sci-fi RPGs and sci-fi like survival games do this mining laser thing kind of in a similar fashion. This part right here almost gave me a, kind of a Far Cry vibe, um, you know, where you can tag uh, enemy settlements from like a hill around the settlement. It kind of gave me that kind of feeling. I do like the gravity effects here, but it's, you can jump pretty far without taking a lot of fall damage. Low gravity, it's pretty cool. Lighting looks fantastic. This is where it gets a little bit um, iffy for me. The fact that that guy didn't respond to any of those bolts, like his body didn't move at all after he emptied almost an entire clip into him. That was a little bit weird. Um, I think they have time to improve that. Shotgun's a little strange. I'm okay with it though. It's kind of weird looking, but 
this is supposed to be future, so. Not real crazy about the um, lock picking minigame. That looks like it'll get boring really quick, so I hope they improve that as well. I'd almost prefer the lock picking from previous Bethesda games. So this part kind of gave me Fallout 4 vibes. Pretty similar to Fallout 4 as far as the laser gunplay, especially with the, the gun design. Uh, it looks almost like a laser rifle from uh, Fallout 4. Okay, so this part was a little strange. Uh, the fact that he extends his legs twice in the same jump two different times was pretty awkward. To join Constellation, who in the future the game is set in are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. So I think the reason why we haven't seen any aliens yet in this trailer is because it's part of the storyline where it would be a spoiler if we did see it. I feel like we're gonna build this artifact and it's gonna be a jumping off point to meet maybe the first alien race in the game. Something akin to like Act 2 of the main storyline. Ooh, the skin texture here looks a little rubbery. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Okay, so the eyes are a bit of a problem. Uh, <laughs> they look a little bit strange. What's they need a little bit of work. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The eyebrows seem a little bit exaggerated, but I feel like I would be making funny faces too if I was learning about some alien civilization, so beautiful, isn't it? Not too far. Here we go again with the eyebrows. Right there. Of course. A little bit exaggerated, but not too bad. The fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC step. Together. I don't know if it was just me, but the frame rate looked like it was pretty low there for a second. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. Zero G combat looks really good. But we are not stopping. And aliens Most don't even make it look this pretty far. good. The alien creatures look pretty cool. Because whatever lies at the end of this road. Change that mind. right there, that shot of the the beast Forever. in the jungle is very no man's sky to me. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. This part's pretty exciting. I mean, I feel like it's our most this is better than... What we had in Fallout 4, for sure. Of how you look. Uh, the backgrounds are going to be really, really interesting. Gives us a lot like of a opportunities. Gives you three starting skills. To play the game over and over. As different Let's characters. You spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages. I do like the fact they're a little bit funky too, like the the parents and it's not the starter just home. How you can look, Pretty cool. And how your character plays and develops. Huge variation in uh, character clothing, which I like quite a bit. Previous games. Extensive and you skills. You can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems from running research projects with the resources you find. I'd say that's expected from Bethesda, for sure. And I'm really glad they brought, uh, they brought back uh, gun customization. That was really cool in Fallout 4. And settlement building, definitely and down for this. Your own outposts. These act as a home I don't know how I feel about the overhead view for building. I guess we'll have to wait and see. You can where I kind of enjoy being on the ground level. One. 
building and Fallout 4. Hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. Yeah, so this is this is part of the trailer that got me the most excited. I mean, I I have so many hours in Elite Dangerous and not being able to walk around inside your ship yes, you can kind of limits the immersion and I think and this is uh, really going to help make you feel like you're out there exploring space There's in your own spaceship. Modules, ship I think this is going to be huge, especially for modders. So cool. Imagine all the Star Wars craft that will be modded into this game. You know, the Expanse, Star Trek, looks, kind of everything, Firefly. Because yes, you can fly it. So going back to what I saw from other creators saying that you can't really compare this game to Space Sims because it's an RPG, I kind of disagree. Uh, I just feel like there's so much overlap here from what we're seeing in these clips to games like Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen. Um, Especially Star Citizen, where you can walk around inside your own your own spaceship. So I think it's fair to compare them. I don't think it's unreasonable, even though they're going for different uh, you know, results or different gameplay styles. Uh, one's an RPG and one is a uh, spacing. I mean, combat from the cockpit, having shields. You know, hull damage, lasers, missiles. I really don't think it's unreasonable to compare Star Citizen to um, Starfield, even though they're they're quite different. The explosions look really, really good. So many particle effects. We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore so relating to what we were talking about with comparing the game to other games like Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, he's saying you can land on any planet, you can explore anywhere, but you won't be able to fly down from space into the surface of the planet, into the atmosphere. So I'm wondering uh, how that's going to look. If you want to go from one location to another, do you have to get up in your ship and fly back out into space and then land? adjacent to where you had selected before, or will you be able to choose, you know, fly in atmosphere or fly out to space? That's going to be a very important decision here that they make in the game design. I think the terrain looks detailed enough where even if the planets are somewhat empty, I think they'll still be fun to explore. They do look quite unique. Okay, so this is the animation where it looks like it's the same animation for each takeoff. And I would assume similar for landings as well. It reminds me of older games where you would travel from one place to the next via a loading screen animation, uh, rather than using actual gameplay and uh, traveling there yourself. Alright, thanks for uh, sitting in with me on this Starfield uh, gameplay trailer reaction. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.